Now you notice your HP lopped up here is turning on, but you're just getting that black screen. Well, there are a few things here that you could try doing. So first things first is you want to guarantee that your laptop here is properly charged. Now maybe plug your charger here into a different outlet or maybe use an extra charger if you have one. Now if it, do, if it does if it does start, start charging here, it means that it just has like little charge in it and that should solve you issue. But usually this is not the fix that you uh, would get. So this is just a rare occasion here that sometimes it's just because of the charge. But what are other things that you could try doing here? I could also do like a soft reset here or not a hard reset necessarily. It's like a kind of like soft reset or you're just a reset. But don't worry, this will not erase any of your data or files or apps that you installed. So how do you do it? So you want to look for the power button on your laptop or HP laptop here. Usually it's going to be around this area here. So it depends on your model. It might be located somewhere else. But you want to press and hold the power button for a few seconds, maybe around 10 to 20 seconds. And once you press and hold on it, that will actually shut down or force shut down your laptop. Now, once it's actually fully shut down, you want to go and press the power button again. That will not turn on your laptop immediately. You want to press it again for a second time and that should turn on your laptop. Now, once you've done that, what you need to do is you want to go and see if that solves the issue and see if there's something appearing in your screen. But if not, the next thing that you want to do here is you may want to do or perform a uh, GPU reset. So what it does, it refreshes your GPU. So what do you need to do? So first, you want to plug everything here. That includes chargers, any USBs, or anything that is connected on your laptop. And once you have those disconnected, you want to press the following combination. It's going to be Shift, Control, and then the Windows button on your laptop, and then B. Now, you want to press and hold this for about 20 to 30 seconds. And once the time is up, you go ahead and let it, let it go and see if that helps. Now, if none of this actually helped, there might be different issues with your laptop, like for example, some faulty wiring in between your screen or in your laptop screen here with the actual unit here uh, or the motherboard. So you may need to contact a professional or a technician to get this resolved. But that's about it. So hopefully this video was able to help you like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.